Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the direction cosines and direction angles for this vector here, u. So, solution. So, we'll start by writing down the formulas uh, for the uh, direction cosines. So, the cosine of the direction angle alpha is simply going to be u1 over the magnitude of u. And then the cosine of the direction angle beta it's almost the same, except it's u2 over the magnitude of u. And the cosine of the direction angle gamma, it's going to be u3 over the magnitude of u. So if you're wondering, like, where in the world um, do these come from and what does this all mean, uh, I made another video that comes up with all of these formulas and explains everything from scratch. So check it out. It's in the Calc 3 playlist. Uh, it should be somewhere above this video. All right, let's go ahead and write this vector in component form for clarity. There is a 1 here, right? So let's emphasize that by putting it there. Then we have 8, and then we have 4. And so what's going on here is that this is our u1, and this is our u2, and then this is our u3. So all we have to do now is figure out the magnitude of u. So the magnitude of u is going to be equal to the square root. And what you do is you square each of the components. So you get 1 squared plus 8 squared plus 4 squared. I have not done this problem before, so I'm going to type it into uh, my calculator very carefully. So uh, 1 plus 8 squared is 64, and then 4 squared is 60. Okay, I got 81. So that's really, really nice. So square root of 81, and we know that is equal to the number 9. Beautiful. So the cosine of alpha is going to be um, u1 over 9, so just 1 over 9. That's our first direction cosine, cosine of alpha. Uh, the next one would be u2 over 9, so 8 over 9. That's our second direction cosine, right, the cosine of beta. And the last one would be u3 over 9, so 4 over 9. And that is our third direction cosine, that is the cosine of gamma. To find the direction angles, we need a calculator. So uh, I'm going to find the answer in radians. So if you're, if you're following along, uh, make sure your calculator is in radian mode. So the cosine takes alpha and sends it to 1 ninth. That means that the cosine inverse takes 1 ninth and sends it back to alpha. So that's going to be the first one. The second one will be cosine inverse of 8 ninth, and the last one, gamma, will be cosine inverse of 4 ninth. So I'm going to go ahead and work all of these out and come up with some approximations. Let's see, cosine inverse of 1 over 9, I got 1.459, so I'm going to go ahead and just put approximately equal to 1.459. How many decimals? I, I don't really know, just a couple, I guess. And the second one, cosine inverse, apologies about my voice. It's coming back slowly. Uh, 0.47, hmm, how many decimals? I guess three, so 0.476. And then the last one would be cosine inverse of four ninths, 1.110. So 1.110. So these would be, these here would be the direction angles, right? So these here are the angles. Direction, angles, direction, angles. You know, we can check our answer uh, a clever way. Um, it, this is something I mentioned in the derivation, and I forgot to mention that uh, it's a way to check your answer. You can check this. Um, if you square each of these and add them up, um, you should get one. Let's let's take a chance and try. Let's try it. Let's, let's, let's try it. Not take a chance. If it's wrong, then the video is wrong. <laughs> so one-ninth squared plus 8 ninth squared plus 4 ninth squared. Now you could do this all by hand. Um, I suppose we could. So it'll be 1 over 81 plus um, 64 over 81 plus uh, 16 over 81. And then 16 plus 64 is 80, so we get 81 over 81. So we get 1, so it indeed does check. So um, that should always be the case um, when you have your direction cosines. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, and that's it.